James of Bernhardt. I'm the professor of theoretical physics at the University of St. Andrews. And I'm doing research that may be related to modern forms of magic, if you like. Magic is just a form of technology. So it's technology at the very edge, where it's often hard to understand how it works. But nevertheless, it's based on ideas and principles that are well understood and that have been around for a long time. And I like to do research that is imaginative and where ideas that people have been dreaming about, like invisibility or better vision, that, uh, that such ideas can be implemented in, in practice, can be turned from an idea into, towards a practice. In fiction, there are two classic examples for invisibility, and I would we call them the, the Invisible Man by Herbert Wells and the Invisible Woman from the, from the Fantastic Four. And um, Cloaks of Invisibility, like the one for Harry Potter, is of the same category as the Invisible Woman. So what is the difference between the two? So the Invisible Man is making himself invisible by changing his own, um, his own structure. So he changes his own chemistry and then he becomes completely transparent and you can see through them. And the invisible woman, she has some force field with which she can bend, she can curve space around her and then guide light around her in such a way that she disappears from view. And that is precisely what these cloaking devices are doing. So they change the perception of space and in this way can guide, uh, can guide light around an object or the invisible woman in that case, and then to make her, make her disappear. So the most practical one is actually that, and it's not using mysterious force fields as is the case for the invisible woman, but rather optical materials where that do the same trick. So they can also, they do appear as if they would curve space uh, around you. And the fact that an optical material curves space is something that everyone can understand and that we show in our exhibit uh, for you to see. So it is simply, if you look into a glass of water, you have the illusion that uh, things are broken at the interface between air and water. Or if you look into a fish tank, then you see the fish are at different positions than where they actually are. And all this is, can be understood in a way that the material, the water or the glass, really changes the perception of space. So light sees space differently depending on what kind of material is there. And that's the trick that is used in order to implement the ideas coming from the invisible woman uh, into cloaking devices for microwaves, sound, and so on and so forth. Yeah, let me try to explain how it works. And it's something that um, I'm sure you're familiar with. So if you look into say water, let me try to draw some water here, let me try to draw an aquarium and see things inside, a little fish, then what happens is that the, what, the way you see things is because you see the light that comes from them, so you see light rays, they come from the illumination somewhere, and uh, light rays coming from little fish in aquarium, and what happens to them, they are and at the surface of the water. And so if you look inside, this is your eye, then uh, you get the illusion that the fish is actually somewhere here, and not where you, where you see it. Now, for invisibility, what we do is we take this idea to an extreme. So we create a situation where an optical material distorts the perception of space. So one way, how would you like to do this? You don't want to move the, the fish around. What you want to do is you want to change its size. You want to shrink it. And so imagine this is the physical world, and it's a region of the world um, around us. And we are distorting the geometry of space by a material, like the water in the aquarium. And we do it like this that this extended region of space just becomes contracted to a point. So this is space in reality. This is the illusion created by the device. 
If there's anything inside, like this little fish here, then it has become a single point. And you cannot see a single point, and therefore the fish has become invisible. So the whole idea is simply to take a material, let it distort the perception of space in such a way that an extended thing has become a single point, and then it has become invisible. That's all. So let me show you something invisible. This is an invisible sphere, and it represents the principle behind the invisible man. Now, the invisible man has changed every cell in his body such that it has the same refractive index as air. Now, this is also like a cell, but it has the same refractive index as water, so you see it in air. But if I drop this into water, then it disappears.